Okay, excuse me. Excuse me, good sir. Okay, so this might be a bit much for me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick ogle. Excuse me. I will take that. Give you guys that. I could very much use some resources. Thank you. I love the fact that you can just dynamically get all these things. Like, it's obviously a little bit more stressful just due to the lack of, you know, higher caps. But at the same time, there's... Okay, is he? Okay. Ow. Uh, let's see. I am not capable of jumping sometimes, and that's a bit of a conundrum. Okay. We have more friends. Got him. Eat it, sucker! There we go. It sounded weird, but that's fine. Hi. Oh, boy. That's a couple more bits than I was expecting there. Give me my HP. Uh, let's see. I gotta give you some more armor. Hello. Okay. Excuse me. Need a little bit more. Gosh, I die fast. I guess that's kind of the point of this game, though. Microwave beam. Oh, shit. So that's how that works. I mean, that's really cool. That's just not really worth it for the bigger dudes. Okay, well, I've got a shit ton of... I guess I'll jump. Whoop the foof that the hot that hot that that. Did not mean to end up there. That's fine. I. There we go. Kind of hoping to kill him well under the influence of burning, but that's fine. Do I just hang out or do I just kill? I guess I'll just kill. Okay, that's fine. Awkward. There's the med kit that I was kind of trying to find earlier, but I was, I didn't quite spot it. I didn't quite know where it was. It's okay. So we got lava, a bunch of other things. Purple challenge fight. Huh. And a bunch of other stuff that I missed in this entire fight that I probably could have actually gone for. They really, like, make these environments bigger. I... All of the extra air maneuverability is interesting, and I appreciate it. But it does mean the level design got a lot more open. For better or worse. I keep thinking I'm stabbing a foot into them. Like, I, I realize, no, I'm not actually stabbing a foot into them. It's their claw. But it looks like a foot! And that's going to throw me off. So hard. Okay, he's dead. Dash refill. Oh, refill the dash meter. I see. Well, that didn't quite work. Uh, okay. There we go. Mantling. I think there was mantling in the previous previous one. The claw is their foot. No, they've got like kind of little pincers. It's slightly different. 
That's close, though. Okay. So we still got the purple battle room over here. But I'm betting we... We go up there manually. I'm just... You know. There's secrets. I must find them. It's an obsession. More than anything else. Where's this? So it's gonna be just directly below me? Here? Oh, there it is. Secret encounters. Optional time encounters hidden in the world. Any resources spent in a secret encounter will not be restored afterwards. If you run out of time and fail, you can retry the secret encounter. Sure. That was fast. Okay. And now we can get back up. Cool. I was wondering what that was. I was like, it looks like it's new. Whatever, whatever it is, it's new. So can I use that power core again? Yeah, it looks like it. Gross. How fresh is this demon? I mean, that kind of... Also, this seems really dangerous, just standing on this thing. But, like, it looks like everything here went to shit recently, as opposed to, like, a while ago. At least this demon is not particularly rotten yet. gonna blast him from here. Okay, anything else? Not overwhelmingly, just gross. Gross, gross, and more gross. Oh, he's not affected by that? Cheap. Ow. Oh, still don't have that. All right. Excuse me, you. Why can I not jump in here? This place is mucky and gross and I don't like it. Hi. Uh, let me switch to the gun. It is good against you. Thank you. Eat it. As getting munched by those guys hurts, freaking kind of bad, actually. What happened to the other guy? Oh, he dropped down. Freaking jerk. I was gonna get ammo, uh, ammo, armor off of him. That's uh, okay. There's plenty of there's plenty of armor sitting around. I don't need to get. I don't need to get snippy. I'll be okay. Nope. Once again, foot the eye. Yeah, it's it's like the face pincers, more than anything else. I'm a little conf confused as to who would do R and D in hell. There's one thing I'm noticing here is there's a lot of there's a lot of goop and there's a lot of gross, but I have yet to find anybody that looks like particularly sciency. Speaking of getting gooped and grossed, this guy's uh, having a bad day. Seriously, everything looks so fresh. Why? Oh boy, do I have to... Do I have to go slam a jam on this cube? Oh. I got... Got it. Nope, I got it. Freaking cube puzzle, that's, that's for sure. Oh. I got it. Another power core, I guess. Yes, you have core. Nice job. Anything else here? Nope. This is not a small level. Hello, yes, goop cannon. Fire your goop. Oh, 
Okay, now... Damn it. I missed. I, like, scooted off to the side. What time are you leaving? I'm actually... I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I'm ending the stream in about 15 minutes, hopefully. Oh, that's where the... I got it. I was like, I, I saw the torch over here, and I'm like, it looks like there's something there. And the answer is, yes, there is. I've already been there. What? 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 I ran out of... All right. I'm confused. Yeah, I know the yellow thing refills dash, but, like, I, it's... didn't? Like... I think... I think it must still be my usual problem. Yeah, there. It worked that time. Yeah, I've still got my keyboard connected to my hub, and I've got to switch that. Unfortunately, I can't, currently. Well, that is just gonna give me... be giving me problems. Excuse me. I would like the thing. I guess there. Okay, let's go loot magnet. It'll make my life easier. And we're good. Hi. Please stop gooping me. Hey, my armor went up. That's good. I like that. Not actually sure what I want to invest in. Probably health. Bye! Uh, hmm. I don't have a sniper rifle yet. I guess I should probably get down here. Uh, let's see. I don't see... I guess we just go down. Because this guy... This guy is just going to be... Pulling me non-stop. There we go. Fortunately, I don't think I get the armor back. Should have set him on fire a little bit earlier. Okay. So what are we... What are we gonna... Uh -huh. Oh, wait. Less... Uh -huh. That's where we're going. At least it looks like it. Shit, how much left do we... Okay, we don't... I don't know how much we have left. These levels are huge. History of the Sentinels, Part 3. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. With machine and enchantment of the Makers, the Argenta brought our newfound clarity to the disparate realms of the Empyrean Void. We took flight with the support of our gods, spreading the enlightened word of the Khan Maker. We discovered there was not one enemy, but many. Worlds and peoples unknown to the Argenta were unveiled, and we saw our own suffering reflected in their eyes. Our righteous army strode into, strode into battle under the banner of the Night Sentinels, and fought for the freedom of all peoples from the grasp of those who would exploit and prey upon them. Though we battled on soil, not our own, the blood we shed in foreign lands safeguarded ancient Argent Denur and the sons and daughters that defended it. Though this, through, the strange, er, through the strange peoples we liberated, new alliances were formed, and our beliefs became our own. Our armies swelled. As Argenta traversed the stars with gleaming war fleets, the Khan of the Makers approached King Rowan from on his throne. He sensed his god restless by her quiet, uh, his quiet manner. Sorry, blame. Bleh. The King and Khan spoke, and the god revealed she. Wait, oh no, it is her. God damn, dyslexia makes this hard. Her quiet manner. The King and Khan spoke, and the god revealed she had foreseen a schism in the blood of the Argenta. A tesh would be a test would be required to identify its host among us she spoke of a holy rite to be performed on the strongest of her warriors only those that proved worthy would be tested for the impurity could reside in only the most resilient of our legion the divinity machine a great tribute by the makers galaris would help us to cleanse any impurities from our flock ensuring our continued prosperity in this world and in the maker realm that awaited in the afterlife the malicious one if not exhumed from her ranks, would jeopardize our safe passage to the heavenly realm of Urdak. 
The Dark One was not amongst them yet, nor would he be for many generations. Only the Mother God, through the divination of the Maker's sight, would determine when he stood before them. The Makers were truth, and only their unclouded eyes could find the one who was marked. The prophecy of the Unholy One was written, but through the ages the warning grew faint until only the Khan Maker herself and the High Priests of the Order Deeg still whispered of he that would one day come to threaten their way of life. Also me. Okay, how the hell do we get up? I got it. That's fine. Ah! I didn't have my dash for some reason. That would have been bad. Okay, ammo, ammo, armor. Jerks up there. We'll deal with them later. But yes, apparently we are the bad guy. Oh boy. I think I got them both. I don't know. That got messy in a bad way. Hello, other gate? Slayer gate. Slayer gates are optional intense encounters. Ammo and extra lives spent in Slayer gate will not be restored afterwards. Three weapons, points, and an Empyrean key. Well, shit, yes. Sure. I punched it, but we actually need the key from up there. All right. Okay. Nope, nothing there. Ow. Well, that doesn't help. All right. Slayer key. Unlock his slayer gate. Got it. Now we can get in here. Now we can try this. A little ack as you punch the gate. It's pretty good. Ah, shoot. Unfortunately, how close are we to done? I have no idea. Probably somewhat close, but I think this is actually going to have to be the last thing. I'm starting to lose my voice, so this is actually a good night for me to take a night off, but I think I could just save and quit whenever. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I ran out of time. Okay. I very much would like just a smidge of HP here. And some other things. Excuse me. Thank you. They die too easy. It's a bit of a problem. Okay. Jesus. Couple too many enemies, don't you think? That will be taking your face. No more gun for you, jerk. Excuse me, I don't even know what the hell you are. Certainly haven't fought you yet. Missiles incoming. Alright. Bailing. Bailing because everything is freaking spooky. Just avoid for a bit longer. I don't know who the hell you are. It looks like a Hell Knight, but like plus plus. I'm gonna operate it under the general assumption that that's exactly the case. Excuse me, sir. I don't know what the hell you are, but you're spooking the children. And the children don't enjoy being spooked. Where did he go? I lost him. I didn't lose him. He found me. He found me.
Give me that, you. Okay, where's Spookman the... There we go. Spookman Stan is dead. What about you? You're dead? Is that it? We're done. Hell yeah, and we get some thing of the babs. Alright, thing of the dabs done. Empyrean key. I'll activate the maker device on Fortress of Doom, which unlocks the unmaker. Alright. Uh let's see. Gosh. How much time do I have? I don't have much, but there's like two things left, but I yeah, I don't have enough time. Dang. Hopefully, this game will just leave me off there at the checkpoint. Worst comes to worst, we might be able to, like, fast travel soon. Ah, shoot. Oh, that's fine. One way or another, uh, if I exit to main menu, hopefully it'll conti continue. We'll just pick this up next time. Okay, so, two days later, I finally have some free time. Game slot, continue. Please just drop me where I was, because if that's the case, I'm going to be so happy. Uh, caveat is, I'm a unicorn now. I... Feel weird about it from an immersion standpoint? Hell yeah, we should be... Uh, what is the button for... There we go, that's the button for the map. Yep, so everything's as it was, where we were. I can remember how to play, but that shouldn't take too long. Alright. So yeah, you're the Doomicorn. Yep. Some part of me feels weird about it, because like I really do like the aesthetic for Doom, and I feel like being a, uh, a horrifying pink... Rainbow monstrosity is... There we go, got it. Uh, being a horrifying... Being a horrible monstrosity, uh, to some small degree, uh, it feels like... I'm... I don't know. Not necessarily subverting what makes Doom special, because I, I don't think you can really do that. That's not how this works, but... Oh. Good thing I looked. That's a cocky demon. Cute. It looks like there's an upper area here. Shoot, was I able to get there from his arm? No way. There's got to be another way to get into that area. We'll figure it out later. I'll get the ability to teleport fairly soon, and then we can go back for completionism. There are motion sensors and artillery everywhere. Oh. I told you all to leave me here. I am where I belong. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse. <laughs> oh. And now you seek to defy the con maker herself. It is your people's time now to give penance. Just as it was mine. Hear me, Slayer. When his heart is laid to rest, then his soul will be at peace. And so will mine. I have the dumbest outfit. It's so good. Did I just see a white Doom guy with red wings on his back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, there is just, I don't, I don't know how to feel about this. The Betrayer. After years of prolonged war against, uh, yeah, against the demonic threat invading their world, Agent Argent Denur launched an offensive strike across dimensions, sending their greatest warriors into the heart of hell itself. Despite their training and preparedness, their honor was undone by deceit. Betrayal at the highest levels of command left Argent Denur bravest warriors cut off and scattered in the hellscape. But of these last remaining night sentinels, only one remained in hell by choice. Betrayer of Argent Argenta. 
It was Commander Valen who relinquished the keys to the Eternal Sepulchre. One second. I, reading is going to be hard on me. In return for his son's resurrection. Haunted by demonic visions, the image of his son's tortured existence plagued him without relent. The whispers of demons pushing him towards madness. In a moment of weakness, he fell prey to the demon's trickery, sealing the fate of Argent Denur and dooming the kingdom to which he swore a li lifelong oath to protect. Valen chose exile in the hellscape for his sacrilege. So this might be how we get back up. Yeah, this is how we get up here. It's really curious. I was like, I don't like missing things if I can avoid it. And the answer is... I just had to wait. You know the movement in this game almost reminds me of Tower of Guns. Oops. I will mark its location on your HUD. These are kind of goofy. Not gonna lie. Like I still. I'm still enjoying this. Uh, ooh. Ow! But that's worth it. We got the we got secret little extra life. Let's see. What am I even missing? Hell, if I know. There's there's a bonus fight somewhere. The problem is I don't know where it is on the map. Is this everything? Show legend. Show map groups. We have Exalta and Hell. Well, it's one of those that if... Oh, there it is. That's actually the uh, the bonus fight. Can I fast travel? I have totally forgotten how to fast travel. I don't actually n remember if I can yet. Maybe we have to clear this area. All right, uh, how do I get the heck out of here? Because I can't get the height to get to that one. I didn't let my boost recover. Well, this is going to hurt a bit. Yeah, so I have to stop on this one and only use one... boost to do it. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Nothing else here. We already got the... Uh... We already got the extra jump. Or the extra dash. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. We got the things. Let's actually shoot stuff. I haven't exactly been shooting things today and that's weird. I should be. Hello. This seems appropriate. Okay. There you are. There we go. And I don't remember... I don't actually know what the... Whoops. Purple stuff is. Whoops. Okay. Mm -hmm. I... I gotta change something. My sensitivity is way too low on this. Uh, let's see. That's sensitivity scaling. Let's do like 4.5. Oh, that's better. I'm not very good with precise aim. Or maybe I'm decent at surprise aim? I... Okay. Ow. Extra life activated. Got him from low. I guess that works. I think I've done that one before. I have, like, no ammo. I should remember to use chainsaw when I get the chip. Well, speaking of chainsaw, there we go. I should probably also remember to use, uh, oops, flamethrower and a couple other things. I pretty much didn't flamethrower a single person here. Excuse me. Actually kind of needed that. Whatever. This is, this whole business is going poorly. I'm just going to grab the health kit, go through here. We'll figure out the rest. Uh... If I can find anybody that's worth killing in this. Excuse me, Hell Knight, leave me alone. I gotta get rid of his gun.
Oh, now is that? Oh yeah, that's the that's the Hell Knight. I think that I think that's their name. I forget. Man, I am not on the ball today. I, then again, usually I like to I prefer to ease myself in into uh, difficult things, difficult-ish. I like to ease myself into challenging games. Oh, I didn't hit the right one. All right, that's fine. She used the chainsaw on the giant spider demon. Didn't have enough ammo. Uh, ammo? Juice? If you notice, the chainsaw has a certain number of pips, uh, so I currently have one. And the one always recharges, but anything... Anything, uh... More than that, you actually have to pick up. And I've been pretty much sitting at bare minimum forever. There's someone still here shooting at me. There we go. Okay. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Exit. Oh, that was it. Okay, cheat code, progression tips. It's not disable progression. Next, series challenges. So we just got to go back. I didn't realize those at the end of the level. I thought I had fast travel already. I guess I didn't. I missed the notification apparently. Hmm. Well, back in I go. Yup. By activating your celestial locator. The second Hell Priest is located in the northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. Let's see. Several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. Oh, look at this. At Doom's Gate. Oh, it's the soundtrack. Okay, can't use this yet. We have things, right? Arsenal. I have weapon points. So, sticky bomb explosion size increased. Oh, do I have to get both of these? I have to get both of them. Okay, so we have Mastery Challenge, destroy 25 Ar Arachnatron turrets using sticky bombs. Oh, that's easy. I don't know what... Oh, so you can use you can use a, uh, a bonus to actually bypass that. Let's see, I still have five weapon points. Reload time decreased. Load time decreased. Kills with a heavy cannon. Will boost micro-missile damage by 30%. And fire them indefinitely without requiring a reload. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, let's pick up let's pick up the two basic ones and then go from there. Cause I actually really do like the uh, the micro missiles; they're fun. All right, anything else? So where are you? What is this? Sentinel batteries into the sockets of the Fortress of Doom to unlock items and power up parts of the fortress. Sentinel batteries can be found in missions or by completing all three. Cool. Well, I guess we just have the old-school soundtrack going for a while. It's properly iconic, honestly. Sentinel energy levels rising. Re-establishing power to core and supplementary systems. Oh, is that the old-school suit? That's the old-school suit right there. But we need... We need more Sentinel power cores. Oh, I get you. Whoa. Hi, how big is this place? Bigger than I was expecting. So we can get the old school suit. A bunch of sentinel power cores. Which honestly I think I'm going to go for more than the old school suit. Let's see. Oh and there's a bunch of stuff here too. So we got a weapon mod. A rune of some variety. Another one. Another weapon mod. Okay, so yeah, I go back to my comment from last time of how much progression is there in this game? 
Wait, hold up. Is that the... That's the BFG, right? Oh, so we're 50 the 50 percent of the way. Maybe to get it, get it, or do I like? Well, I'm not picking it. it. Yeah, so I need I need keys. All right, what do we? What else do we got around here? More collectibles. So this is the first one that I put in, which unlocked this whole business. Hello. Ice bomb. Left control or mouse three to launch an ice bomb. G to swap between that and frag grenade. Freezes demons hit in a blast combo with other weapons. Ice bomb gradually recharges over time. The ice bomb modification to your equipment launcher has been completed. Once fired, the bomb will douse nearby enemies in freezing gases. You'll have to manually toggle the launcher to fire either ice bombs or frag grenades. Neat. I think the ice bomb might be better for me in the long run. Now, hi, there is a lot here. Can I can I just top down? No. We actually have to go around. Tragedies. I was just kind of hoping I could vertically just jump down and be like, yeah. Wow, this place is kind of huge. Oh, I can go in here. What are you? What are you? Kind of like an outdoor observatory kind of deal. A dig. Oh. Hi. Different suit. Requires two keys. Which, unless I'm mistaken, I get, like, multiple keys if I go back and finish the, uh, battle room? I think. I could be wrong. So this is gonna take us all the way down. There's a little bit of lore. Oh. We've got one of the giant mechs hanging out in here. I'm just gonna look at stuff. There's more of these weird, like, rune tokens. But yeah, I got a big old mech. I think it wants me to actually go down to the big old mech. Now that, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go back up for a second. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, there, there's apparently lore in here that I can get access to, I believe. There we go. Fortress of Doom. There we go. I was wondering about this. Is a command station used by the Sentinels for military operations. ESR dating suggests the structure was built during the reign of King Danak. And spectral analysis of the Sentinel energy signatures used to power the various systems confirms this theory. While the rock and metal structure of the vessel is undoubtedly Argenta in design, the castle's subsystems, navigation, gravitational centrifuge, life support are of maker origin, suggesting a design collaboration between the two species. Propulsion is notably absent, as it's not required. The fortress manipulates space through an unknown process involving sentinel energy. However, there is no indication that any of the systems were designed for maker use. The access ways, control panels, and living per living quarters have all been designed for Argenta dimensions, so it can be assumed that the massive structure was made exclusively for Argenta warfare, likely as a flag station of the Night Sent Sentinel's military forces. We have records of the Night Sentinels visiting many inhabited planets on their local quadrant. The extent of their empire is still being researched, and this fortress is likely a remnant of what was once a much larger fleet. All right, I've done push-ups. Oh, hell yeah, look at these things. Oh, these are the collectibles I've been grabbing. Oh, that's cute. And he's got this, like, crazy-ass chair. Oh, that's... Oh, dude, sick, look! It's... I actually don't remember who's which. But it's Commander Keen Helmet and the, uh... What is it, the Zorcher? I forget the name of it exactly. Yeah, read the book names. Uh, give me a second, let me... Let me revel in nostalgia for a bit. I used to play a shit ton of Commander Keen when I was younger. Oh. 
I don't know, I just really like it. Does it say Doom on the side? No, it says Poom. No, it's Doom. It's just the lighting. Okay. So I got a bunch of book titles while I catch my breath. How to Comb Your Mustache. Clifton M. Fishbach. Vault Dweller's Survival Guide. Pre preparing yourself and your loved ones for the inevitable nuclear apocalypse. To Pray or Not to Pray. Cooking from Hell's Kitchen. The Flesh Consumed. Te Tenga, Off-World Travel Guide. Uh, Notefish to Dopefish, The Dope's Tale. One second. I'm like, I'm a little winded. I'm still tired from doing Ring Fit yesterday because I haven't been doing a whole lot of exercise. I was just too busy this year. And so now uh, I'm getting back into it by doing boatloads of push-ups for better or worse. Mostly better, but uh, my audience can effectively ambush me at any point with the demand for push-ups. And assuming that I haven't done more than 60 for the day, I have to do them. I've done 40 so far. Okay, the Strog, Transdimensional Field Study, Living with Rage and Other Common Emotions in the Apocalyptic Wasteland. Spear of Destiny, a post-war deconstruction. Mesa Science Monthly, Predicting Unforeseen Consequences. UNATCO Training Manual, Bomb Defusal. Von Braun, Onboard AI System Technical Manual. Leandri, Brief History of the Interplay Industry. Devilish Daggers. Oh, devil! they made a Devil Daggers reference. That's neat. Other Assorted Pointy Objects. Why well, I'm So Great Part 2 by Dork and Orkham. <laughs> of course. My Buddy Superfly by Hiro Miyamoto. Nice. What else we got? We got Doom 2. Doom. Where the Sanest Place is Behind a Trigger. The Art of Doom. Quake 3 Arena. Quake. Doom again? Looks like couple of just canisters. Okay. Demon Farm. 1984 Dead Demons. Green Eggs and Pentagram. The Kako and the Rye. The Picture of Dorian Slay. Atlas Ripped and Teared. How to Win Friends and Kill Demons. To Kill a Mocking Demon. The Great Gutsy? No, Gut Shy, probably. Okay. Oh, God. Some of these are really small. Something to speed. An inspirational tale. I don't know. Very hungry cacodemon. The power of positive ripping and tearing. The art of rip and tear. The slayer's tale. How to stop worrying and start slaying. The man in the high argent tower. The guts of wrath. Ripping tree. The ripping tree. My best friend, Daisy. Slayer House 5, Dawn Slayody, <laughs> Slayenstein, 50 sl Shades of Slay, Eat, Rip, Tear, Count of Cat and Cristo, and Dungeons and Demons 6 Edition. Oh, that's cute. And the weapons I've collected so far. All right, let's go redo that level. Oh. Uh, gosh. Okay, fine. We can do the other thing while we're here. Uh, I don't think it's actually going to give me access to this computer yet. It's interesting that you can actually see the uh, the armor in progress. Let's see, the old computer. Uh, oh, this one. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see. It's not... Oh, here we go. This sucks. I really wish I could just type this in. Let's see, is it ART? Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is like originally the supposed name of Doom Guy, but I could be wrong. No, I'm probably way off the mark. What is Flintaggart? There we go. Well, we have access to Doom. Like Doom 2. 
Oh, right. I don't remember how to aim. You can't aim. Okay. Yeah, I never played these games growing up. So... It's going to be bad. I'm probably not going to stick to this. Just because I like the idea of playing old school games, but I just don't think it would be worth it. It's the original Doom guy's name. Thought so. Ow. Oh. Okay, it's done. Nothing else. Now, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I do actually shoot up. I don't actually have to aim, which is quite nice. But still. Uh, let's see. Eddie K F A for infinite ammo. Oh, that was it. Uh, I think I'm just gonna bail out of this quick. I can imagine this would be fun, but I'm here for Doom Eternal. It's kind of fun to go back and like see the old games. But honestly, if you want to see a uh, nostalgia reaction out of me for this, then I would have to load up a uh, good old fashioned Chex Quest, not Doom. That said, I would actually like to play uh, Chex Quest at some point on camera and just be like, yeah, this is the game that I played when I was younger. Everybody else had Doom. I had Chex Quest and Mega Man. So it looks like this is probably more closer to like Night Sentinel armor, maybe? It certainly looks like it. I like the idea of being able to have different suits though. It's kind of a neat change of pace. I wonder what happens if I just hop out and fall. Mega Man is cool. Yeah. I unfortunately I don't really have the capacity to play Mega Man anymore. Like I've tried. Uh I've tried to specifically play Mega Man a couple of times recently and I'm just bad at it nowadays but maybe then again I was trying to play like Mega Man Zero and a couple other ones and those were definitively harder don't forget to keep hydrated so what is this punish demons in the prison Ripatorium. Okay. How far does this place go? Hey, oh. Demon prison. Allows you to practice fighting demons without dying or losing inventory such as ammo or extra lives. New encounters unlock as you progress through the campaign. I see. Well, I think I'm just good to go. I could fight these things, but I don't really need practice. Neat that they have a practice area, though. Like, they've really expanded from Doom... 2016 in kind of an interesting fashion. I thought it was going to be more of the same. I thought, like, I can't imagine they're going to do more than this. And they did. In kind of a neat way. I'm curious to see how it goes. Oh, the armor up above is the training armor of the Night Sentinels. Cool. Also, thank you, Verisoc, for the 500, 500 bits, and thank you, Exec Power, for the 10-month resub. Thank you both so much. We're going to, uh, rip and tear for a little while tonight, I think. Well, I think we're already doing it. Sort of mildly distracted. How do I replay a previous level? Probably just go back to the portal. Go from there. God, my is itchy. Where? Oh. Upstairs. And then portal in this end of the room. Also, somebody said there was a weapon in here. Ooh. Oh, no. This is the BFG. What the heck is this weapon, then? Or is it also the BFG? I have no idea. It doesn't matter. The yeah, quality of life improvements alone are amazing. Yeah, it's... I'm a little thrown off every single time I, like, play this game. I'm like, there's just more. This is an ARC broadcast. To any ARC personnel or survivors operating inside the Hellified Zones, please be advised. More Doom Slayer sightings have been coming in. ARC leadership do not recommend any attempts to communicate with the Slayer directly. Please avoid all contact with Doomguy at this time. 
While it is clear that the Slayer is an enemy of the challenge, it is unclear if he could also be a threat to civilians.